Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So once again I'm doing sort of generic intros and outros. I will be going back to Into the Field this next week. Um, I'm not editing as late as normal, but it's just going to be quicker and easier to do the generic intros. So hopefully you all enjoy the videos. There's a lot that happens and at one point we have like a huge archaeological discussion, but mostly it's a, this game stuff. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you're having a good week and I will be with you in a second. There's so many interests involved. Oh, and so I did I did read about that. That like what it's difficult it? as like a paid archaeologist out in the UK, like because because projects would rather use like yeah like volunteers that they don't have to pay. Out out here in the US, it's difficult to get the really interesting job. Oh my freaking gosh, I can't move. Um, it's difficult <laughs> to get into the really interesting jobs unless you're in academia. Um, are you? Am I, am I coming? Is my character coming? Um, what? Oh my gosh, she's still. Ah! Come on. Blah! I can't remember what we did to fix this. V sync. Turn it off again. I can't. Whatever! <laughs> anyway. The Munsell chart, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the, and I can never remember the name for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna look and get some food. Anyway, no, thank you, Destro. You would have had an archaeology doctorate, but you won't go into this stuff. So funding is another one. Oh no, for reals though, funding is just—it's ridiculous. And like over here though, if like you want to get, if you want to do any of the cool like digs or surveys that are like you know like really top notch, like you have to be in academia. But even then, like even in academia, getting the funding for it is nearly impossible, especially now. You know, like, I was gonna potentially be working with the New Mexico, uh, like, the uh, University of New Mexico, and, um, but that just fell through completely once COVID came around, which I have, I have a job as a CRM, just a cultural resource management archaeologist, which is just, like, the 90% of the population of archaeologists do, we just, like, friggin', you know, it's like trying to get it, like trying to be like a famous athlete. You get like only 10% of like the people who are interested in the field can actually like freaking. Oh! <gasps> oh, shoot! <gasps> Bastula, I did not recognize you. Oh my gosh, no, please. Please don't be bad. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. <gasps> Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly, Bastila, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn no! allegiance to Malak and the Sith. I thought I, no I saved her. Council. No, Bastila, don't go to the dark side. You say that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others, like they once did with me. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown no, me that the he Jedi tortured you. Using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. Oh my gosh. Um. No, it's not too late, Master. You can still. What is this? Is this real? No. You can still turn away. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Wait, she's talking about the torture. Acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these what? emotions. Uh, uh. Then he made me see how the Jedi You're like, Council has yeah, denied he tortured me, what is mine and by now, right. The Jedi Council uh, gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what no, I No, they just become. didn't want you to they follow the dark side. They wanted me to bow side. and call master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle Sith meditation for the their same own way. Use. They freaking... The Sith want you to obey, too. Oh, okay. All of a sudden, I am Revan, the Dark Lord. Bow to me, Bastula. Don't be lured in by the Sith lies, Bastula. It's like, I mean, it's the standard argument, and it's like, 
after like so many weeks of torture, like I can see how like she would potential like like it would like start to like create like a corrupted sense, you know, like make like make sense in like a weird way, in order to like make torture stop. Like you're willing to believe like anything or say anything. Potentially, she's lying to me, but also I'm worried that she has actually been taken in. Don't be lured in by the Sith lies, Bastila. Lies. You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, Master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve. Like I was. You're not Malak freed! freed from their You're shackles. not freed by torture! The you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger torture even, doesn't but that will never happen. make you free. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice Don't make me kill you! After I prove my worth by killing you. No! What? What? No! No way! There's no way! Oh, what? This whole time she's been the one who's like trying to like keep me from the dark. I don't know. There's a chance that I'll like beat her down to a certain point and not have to kill her and I'll be able to like shake her and be like, no, don't listen. But I did what I needed to do. I'm so upset right now. No, oh my gosh, do not attack. No, 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 no. Do the thing, do the thing. Oh, we got it off. At least I think we got it off. I mean, I, I was brainwashed by the Jedi Council, and I feel weird about that, but like, overall, I, they're not, they're not bad, and I, they're not trying to like, I, I think the Jedi Council is flawed, like, don't get me wrong, it's extremely flawed, but like, I don't, oh wait, what? Are we good? Are we good? Ugh. Does this torture Most wake you up? Thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malik okay, what? Are we still talking? The dark side has not lost you after all, Revan. Uh, are we gonna like do this in segments? Boop, boop, boop. Anyway, that's me personally. But overall, like the Jedi weren't trying to manipulate Bastila. Like they weren't. They were trying to like. She's extremely powerful, and they're trying to give her like the discipline, like like giving her like the structure and discipline that she needs to like help control herself and not like be like consumed. You know. Don't call me that. I'm not Revan anymore. I'm Brink Car. You can deny what you are, no. Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind. Remember, we have a bond! I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. That's how I know you will... I feel like Obi-Wan or something. I know... That's how I know you will come back to the light. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You're speaking as a tool of the You're Jedi Council. You're speaking as a tool of the Sith! Did. But now I see how the Jedi used You're us being both. used by the, the Sith! It's like the, the flip between. side! They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark what? side. <gasps> She's my flip side. Anyway, Critical, yeah, no, it was so nice to meet you. Have a nice tea time and good luck. I hope you can get work. Like, I know I got interrupted kind of with my rant um, when Bastard came on the screen. But, um, but yeah, I hope you're able to find work. I know in the winter, I was going to say, like, in the winter time, I always have to find a part time job because I can't get any work out here. But I hope, I wish you the best. I, you can, you know, move out here to the COVID, COVID USA. We got tons of work. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, good luck with everything. Mm. <laughs> Stone Smith, Stone Smith. <laughs> Grammy, Grammy, lol, don't encourage him. <laughs> um, okay, so learn from my mistakes. It's not too late to come back to the light. Hang on, what is it? Now I'm breathing. Yeah. Mistakes. 
No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true what? master no, of this. Well, calm down. Not this is flipped. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. No, you need to come back to yourself. And I think it's not fair. Okay, so Bachelor before was maybe like too much of a Jedi, and now she's like too much of a Sith. The true way forward, in my mind, is to like find a middle ground, a balance, a true. Because the Force is all about balance. So like being too Jedi y, like too light side in the end could be a downfall and like being too much dark side can be a downfall like yeah i think in a lot of cases the dark side is more powerful in some ways like at least like pure like punch power you know um but like like pure like just pure force like you know like physical force or like force force or whatever you know but like i think it, it also takes its toll on you you know like like i think you burn up a lot faster in a lot of ways um so, like, they're not wrong necessarily when they say the dark side is more powerful, but there's different, also the, the Jedi are always, like, there's there's different kinds of power, right? The Sith, like, they they embody this, like, very physical, you know, like, war, like, like, warlike force, like, physical, like, I don't, I'm trying, like, force lowercase, you know? And then, but the Jedi are, like, a little bit more of, like, the subtlety and, like, the power of, like, compassion and stuff rather than, like, rage, you know? Both are powerful in their very own unique ways, but, like, they're just different, you know? Anyway. It says you who forgot yourself or won't go back. Listen, I know who I am. I know who Revan is, and I know, at least I have, like, a remnant of my memory, but, like, I don't want to be that person. At least I don't want to be the bad Revan. There was a good Revan. There was a good Revan at some point. <laughs> Beat Malak, rule the galaxy, dark side, sexy time. There's that. Listen, you guys, I can't, I can't, can't fall to the dark side. I'll stay, I'm, I'm a square. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay on the square side. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength People of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once You're not as powerful ago, as you, you were. You are as powerful as you were. Yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, and yes, together we can rule the galaxy. Turn away from this path, Bastila. The dark side leads only to destruction. Bastila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the You're power such a of meanie. the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. Uh, okay. And so Rain's like, there's like it's middle bikini, and I'm like, eh, whatever. But then Game of Vascar, I heard the dog side is 0% interest rates. Sold. <laughs> if that's what it takes, I'll go to the dark side instantly. No, nope, no qualms. There I go. I'm already there. I got cookies and 0% interest rates. That's all I need. Um... The dark, the dark Lord Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light now. You were a pathetic fool, Bastula, Revan. come back, Together come on. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Bastula, Jedi Council. you can't beat me! No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. And we just... We're just gonna let her run? Okay. Oh, crap. Cutscene. 7.20 cutscene. How come we just let everybody get away? We let Malak get away. We let, I mean, Bastila, that I understand a little more. Because, like, we don't, wanna, we don't necessarily want to hurt Bastila, you know? But, ah! Okay. Calm down. All right, we're back. We're good. We're good. Except I still can't move. It's fine. What is it? Yep, it's fine. It's whatever. Oh, you can't move either. Oh, yes. You can move. How exciting. So we didn't even have to, like, work that hard, honestly. Like, we got her down to, like, a third, like, two-thirds of her health. 
wasn't 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 as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Rule of the galaxy doesn't seem to interest anybody. No, who would want to rule the galaxy? Like that would legitimately be like just a pain. The dark side cookies have raisins. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. I, I freaking. Those are trust issue cookies. Uh, shut down planetary disruptor field. Okay. Uh, should I shut down the energy shield? Like, I guess, if, in order for me to get back out, I think I have to shut down the energy shield. Alright, well, we did it. This is cool. Like, the top of this temple looks really neat. Oh, rain, that's so dark. Oh my gosh. Are you guys, are you guys coming? Can I move my character? What? Nope, still can't move my character. It's fine, it's whatever, man. I don't need to move. It's fine. Alright, let's hope if we get a cutscene it doesn't break the game. Nope, okay, we're good. And in order for us to get out the temple entrance. Yeah. Save! Ah, save, save. You're right. Boop, 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 doop, boop. Oh my gosh. End game will start soon. Oh buddy, do I just like do I just like tank it? Do I just do it today? And not worry about <laughs> uh, I have to edit these, you know. I have like a whole archaeological rant. I don't think YouTube wants to hear my archaeological like me being excited to about talking about archaeology to another archaeologist, especially one in the UK. I wanna know what it's like. <laughs> I mean, I read a lot of, like, I have I have this giant book. It's, like, the Oxford, like, Dictionary of Archaeology, essentially. Um, and it's really, really good. Um, and they have, it's stuff from all over the world, but a lot of it is written from a very, like, European perspective. And it's been interesting to, like, see the subtle differences between the two. Uh, ours is much more, theirs is more esoteric, maybe? Is that, I don't know. No, this is, uh, give me an overall map. This is the settlement. Wait, to central, oh, I was in the central, okay, I was, I, okay. I just did, I went down the wrong path, that's right. Pew, 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 pew. Wait, no, 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 I actually do wanna be here. I do wanna be here, uh, I think. Oh no, this isn't the elder settlement. I, I wanna go to the elder settlement because they, I have information for them. Welcome back, assassin. I can't, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking around. This time I'll show the, the elders that I've truly changed and I'll actually bring back their stuff. Unlike last time when I was like corrupted apparently. Central Beach. No, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. We saw the electricity outside the other place, right? I'm just, I'm all over the place. Because it said Red Settlement. Oh, I think that's right. Because I thought I was going to call it the Elder Settlement. And it didn't. I think red was the people who stayed on the surface and gray were the people who stay, who went underground. I'm just, I'm all over the place. I can't remember anything. I'm distracted. I'm talking about archaeology. Oh my gosh, my character is driving me crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just, that, that's such an annoying feature. Like, just have them teleport to you. They do that now. 
in games, but not 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 in this time and age apparently. That good idea didn't cross their minds till later. I'm such an idiot. Woohoo! I just for some reason. Well, first, I guess I left this place first because I was like, I gotta go to the Ebon Hawk. And then I was like, wait, no. I have to give this data back. And then I just kept messing up. Plus, they call it the they call it the Elder Settlement here, but they call it the Red Settlement on the map, which was confusing. I can move again! Yay! <laughs> I did not betray you. Froggy friend, they are our friends. I did. Oh, I have to go to the Starforge, yeah. Yeah, well, the other side of the war is dead because I killed them all. So you can leave without worrying about them. It's crazy to think that in the Star Wars universe, there's like entire worlds that maybe house like secret civilizations. So it's like such a thrilling idea. Um, sure. I don't know if they'd welcome you with open arms, but we could try. It feeds the power. It doesn't feed off of him. It gives him more power. Wow. Okay. I mean, I know they mentioned that. Oh, I need to go, okay. Uh, I need to find, I was trying to give him the data, but it's the scientist who, like the doctor -y medical types that I need to talk to. Yeah. You? I found data on the genetic structure of your species. You're they keep them armed in there, how nice. These people legitimately seem peaceful, but I do... Uh, it's a little weird that they keep people in cages like that to study. It's a little weird, but, you know, whatever, I guess. There was... What else did we have? There was, like, a data pad we picked up that I meant to read. And I didn't read. Novices, novice Sith such as yourself cannot be trusted to remember even simple tasks, Acolyte. It's therefore prudent for your masters to explain themselves at length using very small words. The ancient sequencer on the lower levels can only be activated once all the sequencer tiles on the floor have been set to their active mode. Oh my gosh, it's the solution to the puzzle! To make all the tiles the same color, simply walk on the tiles in the pattern of an H. Trust there will not be another unfortunate incident like the last time. But that's not what I did. I did like uh, I, I went like diagonally across and then and then walked on like like one of the lower tiles, I think. I think that's what I did. Interesting. That I think we pick up that we picked up that data pad though after we'd already done it, I'm pretty sure. So if we had just, oh, I guess if we had kept looking around instead of just going straight into there, we would have found that data pad and it would have given us a hint. Thanks, game. Thank you. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, game. That's what I get for, that's why I always try, it's why, this is just, it just reaffirms why you always ex thoroughly explore an area before you go on to the next one or before you like try to like enter like a main, like a main quest area. Like whichever direction you need to go for the main quest, you go in the opposite direction. Opposite, always. Either you'll get stuck in the main quest and not be able to go back and loot stuff or there's just, there's always, there's, there's like hints and clues and little, little entries to stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. I'll have to check when I edit again. I'm pretty sure it was the diagonal walking across that worked, and then I think walking on one or two other tiles, potentially. Off we go. 
that so deceptive, that pathway. Gotta go to my ship. I think. Yeah. Malak is turned back to the dark side. You confronted her, but she escaped. No doubt she has fled to the Starforge. Yeah. Oh, the Jew. Johannes isn't here anymore. It's just Candorous and Car. Are you. Are you okay? How may I be of a. Can we talk? What is no. it? Of course. You want to talk? Got something. Nope. Never mind. Oh, I get it. Yep. I get <laughs> ah! Mm, there's a game coming out in a couple weeks, the Ghost Ghosts of Tsushima, that I'm really tempted to play randomly. Let me just throw that out there. Cutscene! But it's not a traveling. Look at those. Look at that walking pace. Wow. They're like robots. You're back. But where's Bastila? I is she alive? What happened inside that temple? So many questions. Um. Oh, I could say Bastila's dead. Bastila has fallen to the dark. I'm gonna be honest. We gotta be honest with everybody. That's what I, I vowed to be honest. Uh. Oh, pineapple necklace. Hi, just stopping by for a bit. Hey. Never imagined finding Coder on Twitch. Hey, yeah, here we are. <laughs> mm, I've been, I think I've streamed the whole thing so far. Yeah, after I play Final Fantasy, or after I play Coder, I'm going to play Final Fantasy. I've been looking into the Ghost of Tsushima just to get, like, my Assassin's Creed fix. But, um... Yeah, no, for sure for YouTube I'll be playing Final Fantasy, but, I mean, Ghost of Tsushima looks cool, and then there's, like, uh, the Baldur's Gate 3 coming out, too, that I kind of want to play. There's just so many games, but Final Fantasy's next after I finish Coder. I know, the Sekiro did win Game of the Year, so it's got some samurai to compete with, yeah. And I think um, Sekiro also was, like, weirdly enough, like, even though it's a Dark Souls game, technically, it, like, friggin', um... Oh, thank you for the follow, by the way, Pineapple Necklace, <laughs> as I sit here chattering, but, uh, yeah. It was also very assassin-y, Sekiro was. I never played it, but I watched most of it, so I think... I would really like to, at least I'll, I'll have to see, I'll have to see what the reviews are like, but I'd like to get one of the Japanese games, because they look really cool. Bastila's fallen to the dark side, she fled to the Starforge. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak prayed But she wasn't! I mean, she was headstrong, she was proud. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Um, she can still be saved, can't she? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association what? with you. What? Me? Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories. And also the echo of it's the dark taste. Going to the dark side's a choice, her. not I mean, like. Eleven rejected the dark side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. We can try, and we will. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events. Well, yeah. Come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Also, how was she able to get off the planet? I hadn't disabled the disruptor field yet. <laughs> yes, what's on your mind? Uh, nope, never mind. You got okay. it. Um, shall we, shall we all go? Where's the, where's the cockpit? I can't remember. I'm stuck! I know, right? On this episode of It's All Raven's Fault, I feel like that's cheating. Friggin'. Like you can't you can't blame everything on me. 
Everybody has like a little bit of dark side in them anyway. So it's not just my fault. Bachelor made the choice to fall to Revan. Although, I mean, you can be forced. So, like, sort of. For sure. Uh-oh. Cutscene time! Ah, come back. Okay, real quick. As some of you may know, if you've watched this series consistently, um... My Elgato has a problem with the with this game sometimes. As you can see, the no signal symbol. Um, I played the game at 1080, but the cutscenes, some of them are, are all of them are locked for 720, and so it makes the Elgato kind of freak. It makes it keep, it keeps making it think it disconnects, and so then we have a no signal issue. And sometimes on bigger cutscenes, it's a bigger problem. So unfortunately, we lost the majority of this cutscene on the stream i was able to restart it though and i wasn't able to like i restarted it a couple times didn't work basically what happens in the cutscene is karth is informing the local admiral of the republic fleet what's going on she's saying we're having a really hard time we can't seem to like get in and get close at all they they know our every move and he's like well it's kind of because bachelor like turned to the dark side so he has to tell her and basically they're having a powwow about what to do and we salvaged some of it you'll see and the part that we salvaged the only way i could salvage it is if i played the game at 720 so you'll see a difference from the 1080 just a minute ago to the 720 coming up um i'm i might keep it at 720 because in game cutscenes i don't want to miss those um so i let me know what you think uh if you, if you prefer it at the 1080 or if you're okay at the 720 let me know but yeah so that's what happened just a small cutscene. we salvaged some of it and it'll, it'll be in 720 for the next few minutes, so hopefully you guys don't mind too much for right now. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. It should jump right back into the cutscene in a second. Out our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became uh. Alex's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet. We made it back a little bit. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Moloch's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Those Bastila. eyes are terrifying. Your small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evanhawk and her crew are going to see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. Stop speaking normally, little Yoda. I know. Well, the eyes are terrifying. They're like staring right into your soul. So she's already using her battle meditations against us. It really shouldn't make that much of a difference, but it does. Like, I don't know. In my mind, it shouldn't. And I don't know how these Jedi are gonna sneak on with her battle meditating everything. She's gonna know they're coming. But she does need concentration for it to work, so. All right, well, friggin' heck. That was annoying. I apologize to everybody who's still trying to watch yes what's on your mind um do you know of anything to be done about all these gifts the gifts are gone you save you're right we should definitely save uh end game it's so weird to be playing on like this massive 720 i don't know it's weird Um, what even, what time is it? I might even have to go back and, like, uh, just record part of that by myself. Just the friggin' 
Oh, God. Any I'm sorry, I got so many notifications on my phone. Um... Who's our waifu? Do we get to have an endgame moment? Uh, well, Karth, I think Karth is technically our waifu, but, um... How may I be of assistance? The Giz wait, the Gizka are back! What is it you would like to speak to me about? Of Never course. Mind. Are the Gizka back? Did I just... The Gizka are back! They came back! <laughs> they came back on the ship. They didn't want to hang out there. Oh boy. Well, I know this is gonna be weird after all the freaking problems we were having, but I do actually need to call it here, unfortunately. Um, because I do have to I do have to edit these VODs for late for when I'm gone, and I will be leaving tomorrow for work, actually. So yeah. Hey, oh god, this is what I get. This is what I get. <sighs> okay. Anyway, thank you guys for putting up with the technical problems. It's a pain in the butt. I really hate it. I don't I don't know why. Next time, I might just have to play on this 720. I guess on YouTube, let me know what you guys think. If it's okay, if you guys think it's okay to play on the 720 or if you'd rather see the 1080. The only problem with the 1080 is that sometimes sometimes cutscenes freak out. Not always, but like at least half the time cutscenes freak out. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and putting up with it. I appreciate it. It was really nice. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week when I return from my adventures.